what different secondary structures elements exist and how do they look like. So, as you know from your basic biochemistry courses, we know we have beta sheets and, be and the helices. But there are also things that are more like turns or particular bends, etc., that might be able to recognize the patterns. And actually, it's not obvious even from a structure always to determine what is a secondary structure. So often, this is done, it might usually be done manually because people have, uh, like, oh, look at this, look at this, this doesn't look like a sheet. However, it, that means that people use slightly different definitions. And normally, what you use is actually the hydrogen bonding pattern. So you have programs like these as PN Stride that are using, looking at the distances, angles, etc., between atoms and hydrogen bonds, and they use uh, that to determine the uh, what is the helix, what is the sheet, the strand. So that is something a program you have to run when you put the structure. So you know that the helix angles are phi psi. Some sort of omega, but most of the time, have 80 degrees. And you have this Ramachandran plot that you can only put use. Typically, you take like, whatever areas are, uh, are alpha helical and whatever is the helix of beta sheet, and so this is the helix from the Ramachandran plot directly. However, it's not a perfect thing because many of these are not actually. Uh, uh, that well defined these areas. And also within the alpha helical area, you have, have at least three different types of, of, of helices. You have the three, three ten helices, the alpha helices, and the pi helices. And there are also different, slight different preferences for anti parallel and parallel beta sheets, etc. And you have loop areas. So basically, gray areas here are areas that are far the most amino acids, while glycine and prolines are much more distributed for other areas. So if you run these as a stride, you take this into account. Here you can see that the phi psi areas here. Some numbers, but you also have the distances for uh, here. This is for uh, uh, hydrogen bonds. The hydrogen bonds are normally defined as the distance between, the, between the nitrogen and oxygen, but also the angle between them. So you have some definition of this when hydrogen bond or not. And then that is used for particular structure, and you get an output like that. So it tells you actually that here you have the three first not defined, they have a sheet and a turn, and then a sheet, etc. So in the SSP, you have eight different classes of secondary structures. You have three types of helices, two types of strands, and three types of cords. But normally, you define this as only three groups helix, sheets, and loops, cords. Because actually, this prediction is eight times, eight classes is very difficult and probably useful, but not that. It might not be the exact best definition. And stride use something slightly different, they use alpha helices, and actually put all the three ten helices and that into coil group. So you can so if normally we talk about secondary structure prediction, you have to just, just know exactly what you do, but it's normally three groups you have. And maybe you would like to expand it to eight, something like that. So there are a few programs that do that. And actually if you look at the agreement of them, so this is PS tried and what the secondary structure, which is basically a classification from manual done in PDB, I about like 92, 93, 95 percent, but not more than that. Well, uh, no, I have secondary structures, it, 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 oh, it's 87 to 90 percent in PDB. So that's probably what it's mainly doing is difference is like the first, it's the first residue, last residue of a helix or a sheet. In the helix sheet, or is it look missing? That's one of the problems that only agree with like seven to eight percent. So this is probably less uh, good. But there are at least a group of methods that agree to about ninety percent, at least. So it's not perfect consensus, but it's at least a majority vote.